What's going on everybody, Gemmin here back again and I got one of my favorites y'all, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Compendium Volume 1. It's kind of a bait and switch on the title, but for a good reason. Typically you see Compendium and it's a soft cover, oversized trade paperback, but this is a hardcover. It's essentially a TMNT omnibus. Volume 1, collecting a ton of material. We're going to do overhead shots, talking about what it collects. We're going to look at the beautiful artwork. We're going to compare it to a regular omnibus. And we'll talk about the price and some other things. With that out the way, let's jump into it. All right, guys, so here we have the cover of the dust jacket for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Compendium Volume 1. It's a hardcover. It's basically an omnibus. The cover is, of course, the iconic cover for TMNT Issue 1, although they went with a green tinge over the whole thing. Kevin Eastman, Peter Lard, and then it has some of the later crew that would join the Mirage team. So here goes the spine, old school TMNT. I like how they stuck with that. This is Compendium Volume 1, which collects TMNT 1 through 7 and 9 through 14, plus the micro series for Raph, Mikey, Donatello, and Leonardo also Fugitive 1, and Tales of the TMNT issues 1 through 5. So right away, this collects more than Volume 1 and 2 of the Ultimate Collections, dipping into Volume 3 territory. It does have a hefty price tag on it, though, $150. And it has a matte type of dust jacket, which I kind of wish they would have gone with something a little bit more high gloss. I feel like the mat is going to be prone to getting like dings and things of that nature. And just want to bring in a Marvel omnibus so that you can see it's the same size. It's essentially the same format. So if you ask me, man, it's time to ditch those Ultimate Editions and stick with the Omnis. Let's go ahead and remove the dust jacket and see what's underneath. All right, on the inside of the dust jacket, you just got a turtle here, Raphael. And you have a little biography on Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. And the actual hardcover of the compendium, which I love how they're saying, this is volume one, there's going to be another one. And I'm curious to see how far they go into the TMNT stories. Opening up, you have a very kind of like Kickstarter Indiegogo type of uh, format, the way that this omnibus or compendium was made. If you've had any of those, you you'll know what I'm talking about. Here's the cover page, Dimension X Vibes. Got another kind of cover page with some copyright material. Beautiful table of contents, which does have numbered pages throughout this omnibus, which is great. Jumping into volume one, and you'll notice, like an absolute edition, it's got the built-in ribbon for the bookmark. So, unfortunately, you're not going to need your Gem Mint bookmarks for this omnibus. Beautiful oversized pages, and you can see they don't really... Um, spare on the extent of the panels they go page to page is what i'm trying to say looks very clear original black and white now right away it's kind of a tough spine it's not really giving me any give right now i have to basically hold it open so that could be a little bit better but we're going through the original tmnt series i've read this numerous times love the series you'll know that the first four issues very frank miller inspired but then they kind of go off the rails and do aliens and uh, rhinoceros, triceratops characters or what have you. So let's go ahead and try to get to the middle here. So once that thick spine lays down flat, you're okay for the most part. Again, you got the uh, page count or page number here. Here goes our triceratops aliens. You get into the covers, which do go color, so you get a nice splash of color within this omnibus. I can't wait to do a reread on this, man. I love uh, this classic material. I'm a huge Turtles fan, and of course, the original comics, you gotta love them. Look at the beautiful artwork here. The inks lend so well to these bright white pages. Told you what it collects. Well, let's go ahead and see if there are any type of bonus materials. You get into the tales of the TMNT stuff. The art gets a little bit different, right? You have different creators on it. Jim Lawson, Ryan Brown, Steve Levine. I love the fact that they show us the co uh, the covers. This looks like a bad scan job on this cover, though. But uh, what are you going to do? Interiors look great. Those black and white ink inks really pop. A lot of material here. And it looks like no bonuses. You just go to the end here, and then that's it.
This video is brought to you by that Spider-Man Booth.com. That Spider-Man Booth is now doing subscription boxes and they have some great exclusives for the month of December. They got a Ninja Funk issue to Secret Christmas cover. It's an Alex Cormack exclusive with concept art by JPG himself and Molly Wood. They did 250 regulars. 100 foils and there's a one out of one medal cover has not been revealed yet also will include an alpha betas one same cover artist alex cormack who has that rick and morty style another concept by jpg mcfly which they made 600 regulars 100 foils and another one out of one medal make sure to visit that spiderman booth.com and subscribe to their subscription box all right so there we have it now the only thing is that it's an expensive book man 150 dollars but if you guys have been watching this channel you'll know that you can buy these types of books heavily discounted. I mean, if you want to support your local comic shop or bookstore, by all means, I'm all for that. But $150 is a tough pill to swallow. I go to organicpricebooks.com. They are heavily discounted upon the week of release, up to 50% off. Plus, if you use code GEMMINT, you save an extra $2. So I would consider picking this up at a $75, $80, $90 dollar price tag. $150 is kind of steep, but I'm glad they made it. I think it's time to ditch those ultimate collections. They're cool and all, but I like to collect Omnibus and this fitting in with the rest of my books. It's just a match made in heaven. Let me know what you think about that TMNT Compendium Volume 1 in the comments down below. I appreciate you watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.